Hello and welcome to Mrs. Law's class. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to graph equations in the form ax plus by equals c, where the x and the y are on the same side of the equal sign. Now, we have already looked at how to graph linear equations using the slope y-intercept form. However, what happens when the equation is not written where y is defined explicitly, meaning the y is isolated? What happens when both variables, the x and the y, are on the same side of the equal sign such as this. This form is called standard form, where ax plus by is on the same side, and then it equals another constant number. Now, we can't do much with this equation, uh, but identify that it's a linear equation. To graph, one thing that we can do is to rearrange the equation so that the y is defined explicitly, and then we graph it in slope-intercept form. Or the other option is we can graph using intercepts, which I'm going to show you. So to begin, we find the y-intercept by setting x equals zero. So because we're looking for the y-intercept, we want the y value, x is going to be zero. To find the x-intercept, this time we set y equals zero because we want to find the x value. So you can pick any value for x and substitute it into the equation to find the corresponding y value if you want another point. And then plot these three points from step 1 and 2. So let me show you an example. So here we have x plus 2y equals 6. All right, so let's begin with finding our y-intercept. So if x equals 0, okay, so now we have 0 plus 2y equals 6. So here we can see we divide both sides by 2. We can ignore the 0. And so y equals 3. So our first point in our table is 0, 3. Now let's see what our x-intercept is. So we're going to do this by setting y equal to 0. So now we have x plus 2 times 0 equals 6, and 2 times 0 is 0, so we can just ignore that part, and x equals 6. So now we have our second point, x is 6, y equals 0. Now, two points is enough to graph, so we have 0 and 3, and 6 and 0, but we always want to double check just in case we miscalculated. So we're going to pick one more number. So let's say if x equals 2. So we're going to have 2 plus 2y equals 6. Subtract the 2 from both sides. So now we have 2y is equal to 4. Divide both sides by 2 and y equals 2. So we have 2, 2, and we plot that point as well. And we take out our ruler. And we can see that all three of these lines, sorry, all three of these points lie on this line. So now we're going to connect them. And draw our arrows on the ends to say that the line continues on and on. All right, let's try another example. So here, again, we are going to substitute um, x is 0 to find our y-intercept. So we have 3 fourths times 0. Now you actually don't have to show that part because we know it's going to be 0 anyways. So if you want, you can erase that or not even write that at all. So we have negative 2y equals 2 and then divide both sides by negative 2 and so y equals negative 1. So our first point is 0 and negative 1. Now let's find our x-intercept. So if y equals 0, we have 3 fourths x, and again, I don't have to write that negative 2 times 0 because we know that's going to be 0, so that equals 2. So what we're going to do is we need to get rid of this 3 fourths, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal, so 4 over 3, and then on the right side, I also have to multiply by 4 over 3. So the reason that we do this is that 4s can cancel off to become 1, and the 3s can also cancel off to become 1. So all we're left with on the left side is x, and then we have 2 times 4 thirds, 
or 2 over 1 times 4 thirds, and that's 8 thirds. And it's probably better to write it as a mixed fraction. So this is going to be 2 and 2 thirds. So now we have our second point, which is 2 and 2 thirds and 0. So let's choose one more point. Now I'm going to kind of look ahead, and I can see that if I pick x is 4, then I'll actually be able to cancel off my denominator in the fraction. So if x is 4, I get 3 over 4 times 4, and then minus 2y equals 2. So the 4s cross off nicely. So now I have 3 minus 2y equals 2. Subtract 3 from both sides. So we get negative 2y equals negative 1. And my last step is to divide both sides by negative 2 and y equals positive a half. So our last point is four and half. Now these points aren't perfect or not very nice to graph, but they will do. So we have zero and negative one, and two and two thirds, which is about here, zero. And then we have four and we have half. So they do look like they lie on the line. So let's take my ruler out and connect all of them. And they do pretty much lie on this line. So I want to use my ruler. I'm going to draw a nice straight line and draw my arrows in. And that's how you graph a line using intercepts. Now, sometimes you'll find that it's maybe not so easy to use intercepts, and maybe the slope y intercept form will be easier. And so you would rearrange the equation into slope y intercept form and then graph it from there. Now, to finish off, I want to take a look at some special lines. All right, so consider the equation y equals 5. So we can actually rewrite this equation so that it looks like this. 0 times x plus y equals 5. So this is the same because 0 times x we know is 0. Okay, so we are left with y equals 5. So this means that no matter what value we select for x, y is always equal to 5. All right. So graph the following, y equals 5. So we're going to do a table of values. And let's pick negative 2 as our first value. So if you put negative 2 into this rewritten equation, we have 0 times x, 0 times negative 2 is 0. And then that means we don't can ignore that part. And then we have y equals 5. So y equals 5. Try that with negative 1, same thing. 0 times negative 1 is 0. So y equals 5. So no matter what numbers I choose, if I pick 0, 0 times 0 is 0 y equals 5, I pick 1, 0 times 1 is still 0, y equals 5. And even if I pick, let's say 6, 0 times 6 is 0, so y equals 5. So plotting these numbers onto my grid, negative 2 and 5, negative 1 and 5, 0 and 5, 1 and 5, even 6 and 5, we can see that all of these points lie on a horizontal straight line. So we can connect all these points um, with my ruler, lined up, and then we draw arrows on the end. So that means when y equals 5, we get a horizontal line. Now let's consider the equation x equals 5. So this equation can also be rewritten as x plus 0 times y equals 5. So this time, no matter what values we select for y, x is always going to equal 5. All right, so graph the following x equals 5. So this time, we're going to choose values for y. So let's say again, we start at negative 2. 0 times negative 2 is 0, so x equals 5. 
negative 1 for y, 0 times negative 1 is 0, x equals 5, and so on. So no matter what numbers we choose for y, x will always equal 5. So graphing this, we get 5, negative 2, 5, negative 1, 5, 0, 5, 1, 5, 2, 5, 3, and so on. So this time, you can see that when I connect my points together, I get a vertical line. And we'll draw this with arrows. So um, to summarize, when we have a y equals a number, we will get a horizontal line. When we have x equals a number, we get a vertical line. You can also think of it as y equals 5, it will hit the number y equals 5. x equals 5 means that it will hit x equals 5 as a vertical line. And then that's it.